Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson has made two big public appearances in the last three days. A speech at CPAC, which is an annual political conservative conference, that was on March 4th. And then last night, his response to the State of the State address. Same man, same blue jacket, same red tie and pocket square. But between those two speeches, Robinson's words and tone are completely different. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Laura Leslie joins us now live from the State Capitol building. Laura, Mark Robinson's speech last night, very different from the one and the ones that we have seen from him in the past. Absolutely, Gerald. You know, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson is well known for speeches full of fiery rhetoric, and that sometimes includes some uh, homophobic and anti-Semitic remarks. But his response to the State of the State address last night was a very different tone, and that has some observers wondering which version of Robinson we might see on the campaign trail in 2024. Just days ago, Robinson was a featured speaker at the conservative CPAC conference. Catawba College political scientist Michael Bitzer said he was struck by the contrast between that speech and Robinson's state of the state response. He talked about in the response about putting aside the weapons of political warfare. But then at CPAC, he talked about actually somebody storming Omaha Beach. In his response to Cooper, Robinson was complimentary toward teachers. Teachers have one of the most important jobs in our society. We must hold them to professional standards and we must pay them as the professionals they are. But he seemed less so at CPAC just two days before. We need to give thanks for those brave mothers and fathers who would be called domestic terrorists by having the unmitigated gall to go down and speak up at the school board meeting for their children because they refuse to have their children indoctrinated by CRT and have them presented with pornography. He also fired up the CPAC crowd with red meat claims about the political left. They've got everybody from ABC, CNN, BLM, uh, BLM and Antifa calling to have the police defunded, lying on the police, saying that our policemen are racist, saying that our policemen are violent, saying that they need to be defunded. But Robinson's North Carolina speech rejected that. In our society today, we are so divided and thoughtful discussion is often replaced with tweets, sound bites, and heated rhetoric. Bitzer said it's not unusual for politicians to tailor their message to their audience, but the contrast in these two speeches went beyond that. He thinks Robinson is trying to remake his image as he eyes a run for governor in 2024. It's going to be interesting to see if he can indeed hold these two personas and which one dominates especially for the party nomination battle, but more importantly for the general election. Well, Lieutenant Governor Robinson was not available for an interview today, but his spokesman John Waugh sent us this statement. While the tone of the two may have been different, they were both about public service. The Lieutenant Governor made it clear that he is more interested in serving the people of North Carolina than playing political games. Very interesting contrast. Laura Leslie reporting live. Thank you, Laura.